All right, guys, it's uh, January 17th. Uh, this is our first time out in about two weeks. We're back to the, uh, back to the bush uh, where we left off last time. Uh, I don't know how much longer this bush has. There's uh, plans, I think, to uh, raise this whole area. So I think we're kind of uh, pressed for time to get in here and uh, see what we can get. I don't know, it's a, it's a real long shot. This area was never, never plowed farmland. It's always been uh, probably pasture. Uh, you see there's a few older trees mixed with a lot of scrub in here. That one being dead. But uh, yeah, and you can see it's really, really bushy in here so we'll get in wherever we can and uh, you never know what kind of surprises uh, you can get so uh, we'll have at it and uh, see how it goes the ground is still uh, still not frozen here so uh, yeah it's been uh, pretty decent temperatures so far this winter but uh, this week it's uh, turning cold so let's get in while the getting's good well on our last one uh, we had this Looks like a felling wedge, probably. It's got some smushness on top. And with that ax being out here, that's probably, there was probably activity going on a long time ago. And in this hole, we had a somewhat decent sounding signal, uh, but we got ourselves a uh, very bent square nail. Yeah, there's definitely old, this is definitely old ground. All right, we'll see what comes out next. Now we had a solid 18 right near these uh, super old cedar trees, right on the right on the ridge line, and we got ourselves a Canuck a head stamp shotgun 12 gauge. Very cool. Yeah, this is more what I expected to find in here. I know I did a little bit a while back on the other side of this bush area and there was a lot of 22 shells. But uh, there were also, back before they developed the area, there were lots of uh, deer blinds set up too. So people did a lot of hunting back in this area uh, in the past. All right, we'll see you on the next. Awesome stuff, Canuck. Well, we had a nice solid 15, 16 down here, and they seem to ring up, uh, head stamps seem to uh, ring up that. We've got a 10 gauge, can't make out what brand it is, but uh, it's overcast today and the lighting's horrible. So, uh, yeah, I think I can make out made in USA. So, yeah, we'll have to see uh, see later what it is. It was down a few inches, so probably a little bit older. All right, see you on the next. Well, we had a nice solid uh, 18 down here. A little bit of iron uh, in it, and uh, got ourselves a rifle shell. This one, however, is uh, appears to be military issue. You can see the D. DAC Dominion Arsenals with the broad arrow. That means it was uh, it was a Canadian government uh, corporation that manufactured uh, ammunition. So that's pretty cool. It's probably maybe World War II era or earlier. Hard to say. I know there was some evidence at the old farm site, which uh, this property. Uh, used to belong to and there was some evidence of uh, military service someone serving in the military there so pretty cool see you on the next all right guys I guess uh, this is the reason why I uh, should have brought my backpack I thought why did I bring it last time I couldn't remember why but uh, 
yeah, it's when you find big iron, you need your backpack and uh, a little good luck here. Looks like we got ourselves Ooh, a bit of horseshoe. Ooh, she's kind of bent. Very cool. It's a really thin one though. Wow. Very, very bent. Well, that can be bent back, no problem. But then again, it does have character too, so. Sweet. Let's see if this brings good luck. See you in the next. Well, we had the tiniest little signal in uh, round of 10. And we got ourselves just a tiny little, probably a 22 bullet. Very cool. Not far from that horseshoe. All right, let's keep going. See if we can pull out some, uh, see if we can find some buttons or some coins even. It's a long shot, but uh, it's always worth a try. Yeah.